very good morning i am dr p usha rani professor triple department rmt engineering college uh, i am going to take a topic on power system operation control subject which is the 7th semester triple students anna university paper ee 8702 as the subject quote i am going to solve the question as a recent question paper anna university question paper november 2020 question number 12b So the question given us a 12B question number: A two-area power system connected by a tie line has the following parameters. The parameters and the area one, area two details are given in the table, which is the turbine output power in megawatt unit one, 4000; unit area two, 2000; nominal frequency 50 hertz. and uh, for both area 1 and area 2 speed regulation 4% for area 1 5% for area 2 power system gain kp value 50 for area 1 125 for area 2 governor time constant turbine time constants are given in the question a load change of 80 megawatt occurs in area 1 determine the steady state frequency and change in the tie line power flow that is the given Question: You have to find out steady state frequency and change in tie line power flow. So for that, uh, what are the given data? So I, from that, I am going to calculate. Okay. So given data are KP1, KP2 are given, FR is given, PR1, PR2 are given. So first step, I am going to find out the uh, B1, B2 value because I have to find out my area frequency response characteristics beta, which is B plus 1 by R1. So B1 is equal to 1 by KP1. So I have substituted my KP1 value, which is equal to 0.02 per unit megawatt per hertz. Similarly, for B2, for area 2, I am going to calculate 1 by KP2. I have substituted KP2 as 125. So 125 is equal to 0.008 per unit megawatt per hertz. And uh, I'm going to calculate my R1. So R1 has uh, four percentages given. So four by hundred into FR by PR1, fifty by four thousand. I need that answer in uh, per unit megawatt. So I'm multiplying that by four thousand for the corresponding area one megawatt uh, capacity. So the answer is two uh, hertz per per unit megawatt. Similarly for R2. For area two, I have solved, which is given as five percent. So five by hundred into FR as fifty divided by PR two as two thousand. Again, I need the answer in per unit megawatt. So I am multiplying that by two thousand. So my answer is two point five hertz per per unit megawatt. Delta PD one given as eighty megawatt. So eighty divided by four thousand. If you put zero point zero two per unit. This is for area one. So I have substituted with the rated capacity of that area. Delta P D two zero. So I have calculated area frequency response characteristics beta one, which is equal to B one plus one by R one. I have substituted that values and the after calculating that beta one as a point five two. Similarly for area two beta two, I have calculated which is equal to B two plus one by R two, where The answer is 0.408. Now I have to ca calculate my A12, where A12 is PR1 by PR2, which is 4000 by 2000, which is equal to 2. My steady state or static frequency change delta F is equal to the formula minus of within bracket delta PD2 plus A12 into delta PD1 divided by beta2 plus A12 into beta1. Now here. Delta P D two is zero. This term is zero. I have substituted and A one two I have calculated two. Delta P D one value zero point zero two divided by beta two as point four zero eight and plus A one two as two into beta one as point five two. If I substitute that values, my delta F is minus zero point zero two seven six hertz. So my system frequency uh, with the disturbance occurs. At that value as uh, original frequency as 50 hertz minus of this value, so this value gives 49.9724 hertz. And uh, they asked delta P tie line. 
delta p tie line formula as beta 1 into delta p d 2 minus beta 2 into delta p d 1 divided by beta 2 plus a 1 2 into beta 1. Here delta p d 2 is 0, so the first term won't come 0. Minus of beta 2 as 0 0.408 into delta p d 1.02 divided by beta 2 as 0 0.408 plus a 1 2 as 2 into 0 0.52 which is equal to minus of 5.635 into 10 power minus 3 per unit. I need the answer in megawatt, so I am multiplying that by the rated capacity 4000. So if I do that, my answer is minus 22.54 megawatt. Thank you.